Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about cactus mouse. Incredible cactus mouse facts. They breed from January to October and have up to six litters per year. Scientists believe the mice are less active during a full moon. Can quickly run up rock walls and trees to escape predators. Eat succulent plants for hydration when they cannot find water. The mouse's naked tail is usually longer than his body. Cactus mouse appearance and behavior The cactus mouse's body only measures acum to 9 cm without its tail. The tail is unusually long, adding another 10 cm to 14 cm. Proportionately, it is the longest tail for a mouse. Scientists believe the desert mouse's tail length is related to body temperature regulation in the desert climate extremes. The cactus mouse can vary in color from the golden yellow of subspecies Paramiscus aramicus or micus to a dark gray and almost black color. But most of the mice range between a dark gold ochre to cinnamon and gray. The fur on the mouse's belly and the rest of its underside are generally white. Its tail is usually not hairy, except at the very tip where it may have a slight tuft. The soles of their hind feet are also naked, an unusual trait among other Paramiscus species. Also different when compared to other members of their genus is the cactus mouse's face and skull. As far as external features go, it has small ears. The cactus mouse is sometimes called, aggressively solitary, except when mating. It is a nocturnal feeder that is shy yet excitable. They are fast runners, reaching speeds of an average of 13.1 km per hour. They use their speed to scamper or climb away from predators. The mouse can become physically and mentally inactive during the day and can also control its metabolism in high temperatures and droughts. This enables them to go long periods without water. As solitary creatures, the mice maintain an average territory of 0.8 acres. Sometimes males' territories overlap each other. Cactus mouse habitat The cactus mouse lives in the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico, including several outlying Mexican islands. In the United States, it primarily dwells in Southern California, Southern Nevada, Arizona, Southern New Mexico, and Far West Texas. They live in deserts, mostly in rocky regions and shrublands. Their fast running speed helps them scamper to safety from predators across the desert and up canyon walls or trees. Small rounded eyes help them see after dark as night feeders. Due to the heat, they typically sleep all day and conserve energy in their underground burrows or nests in bushes or under piles of rocks. What does the cactus mouse eat? The nocturnal feeder generally eats seeds and vegetation. But as omnivores, they will also eat insects like spiders, centipedes, and millipedes. Favorite foods include fruits, grains, nuts, shrub blossoms, hackberry nutlets, mesquite beans, pine seeds, juniper seeds, leaves, trefoil, sage, grasses, and other green vegetation. During drought conditions, they will eat succulents as a source of water. They can even survive in fall and winter by eating poison oak. Like a squirrel, the mouse can hoard food. What does the cactus mouse eat? The nocturnal feeder cactus mouse eats insects like spiders, centipedes, and millipedes. But most of their daily diet is made up of fruits, grains, nuts, shrub blossoms, hackberry nutlets, mesquite beans, pine seeds, juniper seeds, leaves, trefoil, sage, grasses, and other green vegetation. They will also eat succulents for hydration and even poison oak when other foods are not as available in the fall and winter. How big is a cactus mouse? The cactus mouse is very small. But what it lacks in body size, it makes up for in tail length. Their bodies are only 8 cm to 9 cm in length and 0.6 ounces to 1.41 ounces in weight. But their hairless tails are 10 cm to 14 cm long. How do cactus mice survive in the desert? Cactus mice have many adaptations for surviving desert climate extremes and the predators who pursue them. They can beat extreme temperatures by slowing down their metabolism to require less water. They also go dormant during the day and come out at night for foraging. Other adaptations include their ability to run more than 13.1 km per hour and climb fast up rock walls and trees. Even their tails help them survive, according to scientists who believe that the tail's extra-long length relates to body temperature regulation.